In this video, I'm going to show you how uh, cases of vitiligo, which is a skin pigmentation problem, uh, you can get up to 75% repigmentation just by taking vitamin D supplements alone. Not everybody, but clearly some people. So the range of improvement varies, but in this study they showed up to 75% improvement. So vitiligo is known to be a, uh, or is viewed as an autoimmune disorder. In this case, the immune system appears to be attacking the, the cells in the skin called melanocytes that give us our skin pigmentation. Additionally, people who have vitiligo, up to 25% have additional autoimmune disorders. Okay, so here's a paper. I did a video the other day and looked at, 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 at psoriasis as part of this paper. I did them separately because they're very different conditions, obviously. So in this study, what they did for six months, every day for six months, subjects took 35,000 IUs of vitamin D. Now, when the study began, the people with vitiligo, their vitamin D level was 18.4 plus or minus about 9, which is less than 32 nanograms, which is considered to be the low end of normal. And this is the range of the normal range of vitamin D, 32 to 100 nanograms per ml, as you can see right here. So after six months of taking 35,000 IUs per day, you can see how high some levels of vitamin D reached in, in the subject's blood, up to 170 nanograms. That's amazing. I say it's amazing, but no uh, uh, vitamin D hyper, vitamin D toxicity side effects. Now, the, the vitamin D toxicity side effects occur as a consequence of hypercalcemia, and the symptoms of hypercalcemia that are most noted for para, hyperparathyroidism uh, it's called, with, you, you would have uh, mental symptoms or, 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 or CNS symptoms, nervous system symptoms like depression and, uh, and headaches and then gut symptoms, really bad gut pain for some people and then, and then joint muscle bone pain for others when they're hypercalcemic. So they had none of those outcomes with these people. They also had, had these subjects. You can see they had a total of 16 patients with vitiligo. They worked on, they had nine with psoriasis. They all had them do a low calcium diet plus uh, consume two and a half liters per, per day. Again, no one had uh, toxicity effects even though their blood levels of vitamin D reached this high. So all you have to do really to see is just track your blood level of vitamin D and your, and your calcium level, which ranges is about 8.5 to 11, 8.5 to 10.5 is, is the normal range. I forget the exact number, but that's, that's the range. So you look at... If, do I, am I taking too much vitamin D? Well, if your calcium is fine, probably not. And, and we can have an exceptional benefit for some people. So here is an example of a woman with vitiligo. And six months later, by only, by only taking uh, 35,000 IUs of vitamin D per day, which I'm not saying that you should do. I'm, giving, I'm showing you what, the, what options are. You should talk with your physician about whether or not you should do this. But this is the potential outcome. And it's, vitamin D is so cheap. Look at this outcome. Massive. I mean, if you just look at her forehead, I mean, just right through in here, if you just right above her eyes, right in here, look at the difference. I mean, it's absolutely stunning just by doing vitamin D. So we know that vitiligo is an autoimmune type of condition. And if vitamin D alone does not help, what else should one do? Well, the way to uh, look at any inflammatory condition is to completely deflame the body as much as you can. And, 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 and in, in, our, in my world, the deflame diet world is, or the deflame nutrition world, we've got to deflame the diet as best we can. So on top of taking vitamin D, we should get rid of all of these calories and replace them with vegetation and then consider additional anti supplements that support an anti-inflammatory state like magnesium and fish oil, very, very inexpensive probiotics, ginger and turmeric, uh, fairly potent um, botanicals, very simple to do. So uh, whenever we, we, we pe people try simple monotherapies like vitamin D and you only go so far, well, you got to go further. And so you want to track all the inflammatory markers. So in this book, vitamin D is considered one of the many inflammatory markers to be tracking. So if you, if you want to check out more about this book, you can go right to Amazon, pick up my books there, individual copies there, or you can get volume discounts for each of these books. If you go through deflame.com right now, you're looking at this at YouTube. 
and so you can you can subscribe to the Deflame Nutrition YouTube channel and then follow updates on Facebook as well.